Today we're going to talk about, continue our, our explanation on exponents, and we're going to talk about product to a power rule. Product to a power. So let's get started. All right, if I had x to the fourth, y to the second, raised to the third power, okay? reason why it's called the product to power rule is because these two bases here are being multiplied. These two powers are being multiplied. This power and this power. This x to the fourth is being multiplied times this y to the second. But it's all, all of this, so the product of this is being raised to a power. That's why it's called the product to power rule. Okay? But this rule is real simple. It's, it's sort of like the power to power rule, except now you have, you're multiplying two items, two powers inside the parentheses. Before we only had, before we only had y to the second raised to the third, well now we have two powers inside our parentheses. So, what we want to do, we want to treat it just like the, the power to power rule, except this time instead of just multiplying the three times the two, we've also got to multiply the three times the two, three times the four. I'm sorry, 3 times the 4. So we're going to multiply the 2 times the 3 and the 4 times the 3. So that's going to leave us with x to the 4 times 3, y to the 2 times 3, which equals x to the 4 times 3 is 12, y to the 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, let's try another one. If I had x to the third, y to the second, raised to the sixth, let me cover this top portion up here. Um, now I want you to see it, okay? Um, I'm going to multiply my two times my six and my 6 times my 3. So I'm going to have x to the 3 times 6, y to the 2 times 6 equals x to the 18th, y to the 12th. Because 3 times 6 is 18, x to the 18th, and y is to the 2 times 6, which is 12, y to the 12th. Okay? Now, you can have more than two. Um, I hope this board is not getting too busy. Let, let's get, a, let's get, another, get another sheet here. Okay. So in your parentheses, you can, as you can, if you remember, you can have one power, two powers, or you can even have three. If I had m to the fifth, n to the seventh, and q to the second, this product, I'm going to multiply these powers, this times this times this, all raised to the third power. So I'm going to multiply my 3 times 5, I'm going to multiply my 3 times 7, and I'm going to multiply my 2 times 3. So when I do that, I'm going to end up with m to the 5 times 3, n to the 7 times 3, and q to the 2 times 3. Now let's simplify that right now. So that's m to the 15th, 5 times 3 is 15, 
into the 21st because 7 times 3 is 21 and Q to the 2 times 3 which is 6 so this is your final answer right here in simplest form for that problem well you can you can have you can also have um, constants in in this in your parentheses. Let's look at this problem. What if you had 2 to the third, x to the fifth, y to the eighth? This product multiplied to the second power. Okay. Again, I want to multiply my 2 times my 3. I want to multiply my 2 times my 5. And I'll multiply my 2 times my 8. So, I'm going to bring my base of 2 down. And I'll multiply 3 times 2 for my exponent. I want to bring my x, my base of x down and I'm multiply 5 times 2. I'm going to bring my y base down and I'm going to multiply 8 times 2. If you notice again, I multiplied each one of these base, each one of these inside exponents by this outside exponent. 3 times 2. 5 times 2. 8 times 2. Now let's simplify it even more. So I have 2 to the 6 because 3 times 2 is 6. I have x to the 10th because 5 times 2 is 10. And I have y to the 16 because 8 times 2 is 16. Now I'm going to stop right there. But please know that you can simplify this even more, this 2 to the um, 6 power. Let's, let's go in and do that. Two, so 2 to the 6 power equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That will give me 4. This will give me 8. This will give me 16. 16 times 2 is 32, and 32 times 2 is 64. So I can simplify this even more by writing 64, x to the 10th, y to the 16th. Okay? Um, this is the end of this video. Um, if you have any questions, concerns or suggestions, please email me at methodmoon at gmail.com and I'll be more than happy to um, to do a video um, um, which deals with your comments. And I will see you next time. Bye.